the hall is finished now. Um, okay, so what I've done is I've put in the rubble. So as you can see, there's just bring in some light. Here's the rubble. Um, whoops. Okay, here we go. And here's the um, corner. We're going to the other place. This is the other room. I've just blocked it up for now because there's no roof and it's bringing in a lot of light. So I'll just block that up for now. And also, I'm going to make this hall longer and just move those torches up a bit. And it's going to be a kind of dark here. And I'm do what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test for a uh, player um, in this radius. And if there is a player there, it's going to either summon in something or it's going to set block something with a sound. So I'll get back to you when that is all done. Okay guys, the jump scare is finished and I'm just going to show you what the map looks like and yeah, so here we go. Where am I? Oh, I must have fallen asleep in class. The door is locked and you find a way out of here. I'm pretty sure there is a hole leading to the hall outside. So they can look through the door. There's the uh, hall. You can see I've added slowness just to add to the effect. And here's the hall. You walk through it. And now we just walk here around the corner. Whoa! Here's the door to another classroom. And I'm going to just put a pressure plate here. When you walk over it, it will say, um, it's locked. So you're probably wondering how this jump scare works. Well, there is. Ten command blocks. So first of all, I have got a scoreboard called Hall One because um, that's Hall One, okay. And it will set the score of Hall One. So it will set the score of any player's got Hall Zero. I mean Hall One to zero. It will set the Hall One to one. When the Hall One is one. It will play sound custom dot, dot scream to all players who has a score of hall 1. When someone has a score of hall 1, it will set block the um, bottom part of the lady, it will set block the top part of the lady, and it will set block glowstone under the lady. One tick later, after all that happens, it will set my... Hall 1 to 2, so the sounds don't repeat. We'll put all the blocks back, so I'll uh, put air, stone, uh, where the glowstone was, and air. So I'll take away the lady after about, let's see, 1, 2, 3 ticks, about 3 ticks. And then 4 ticks later, after that happens, it will just say what's happening um, in gold, which is not here. I'll, I'll put it in. I've added quite a lot to the map. So here's where the uh, lady appears. That's the tunnel there. And um, when you walk down here, I've added the thing um, that says Class 5. When you walk over it, it'll say it's locked. And I'll only say that once, as you can see. There's this hall here that you can walk around here. And there's a chest. And when you open it, it'll say... My teacher's diary, maybe it will give me a clue. So here's the teacher's diary, and there's a library safe key inside. And it's just got a bit of um, text. Yeah. So this will lead the player to the library. The library's got a bit of a maze, so I'm just going to skip it here. Yeah. And you'll find your way to this chest. I don't think it's locked at the moment. Okay, yeah, right now it's not locked. Um, so let me just quickly lock it. I'll show you how to lock a chest. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to do a block data. Um, there we go. Negative one down. So I'm selecting the chest. And then we're going to give it lock. And now you need to give the name of the item that you want to unlock it with. In my case, it's library safe key. Oops, has to be a capital. Pretty sure it's case sensitive. So now it's locked. Any item I use, but if I use the library safe key, you see it works. Um, 
I think it's now it's open. Okay, yeah. So you have to use this key every single time. Down here, let me just do that. When you open it, um, you'll say this place is getting creepy and creepier, doesn't it? There's going to be a book here. It will do a set block command to here. And we'll TP you. Um, let me just get there. I've broken the map a bit. We'll TP you into here. So this is what, um, when you pass out, you'll start dreaming about the library, how it was before um, the time. So when you come here, you'll stand on here. And you can see, as I walk over Glowstone, everything will start flashing. And then when you walk into here, um, did I pass out? How did I get back here? You see, I'm out the library. And um, now, this area here will be open and will go to a different place. Also, what I've made is these um, squid squid things. So, whole... See, west? Okay, so I think... Hall turns for the west. Yep. So you can see I can place down um, halls, uh, arches, and hall straight is for north. So here, yeah. and as you can see, I can make it turn down this way. Okay. The dream world works like this. There is a few command blocks, but it's not that bad. I forgot to put a sign on this one. Basically, what this one does, I've made a new objective called Dream. And this one will scoreboard player set all players who's at this location. This is by the um, door over there. The Ashia, Asesia door, whatever it's called. Um, and I'll set your dream to dream score to one. Um, this one will TP all players who's at the dream library by the door. I'll TP all those players, TP them to the hall. And how it does that? TP all players has got a score dream minimum of one, score dream equaling one, so it has to be one. TP them to 35, 55, 107, which is in the hall. 90 zero, which is the uh, rotation. So if that is true, and it does TP them, and it will send out a signal, and the signal will activate one, two, three, four commands. Uh, first one will affect all players and will clear the effects. So that would be the not vision effect. Uh, the next one, or a question, uh, did I pass out? How did I get back here? Um, in gold. The next one, will play sound custom.wake up um, after passing out. So just play sound custom.wake up. And that's the breathing um, in and out. And then this one will just set your dream to two, so it doesn't constantly teleport you there. Um, to get the flash effect when you stand on glowstone, we'll just execute all players and it'll detect under you for glowstone. Then, if it finds glowstone, it'll affect all players with night vision 10. Because when you have night vision for 10 more seconds, it will start flashing. 99, it doesn't have to be, but I'll just put it like that. 99 value with night vision is the same as 1. And true just to add the bubbles. This one will um, just affect all players. It's got a score of whole one, minimum of zero, so zero and anything higher. We'll give them slowness for a million seconds of one true. So you're probably wondering why I don't have slowness. It's because my whole one score is set to negative one. Okay, so I'm going to give you the overview of the map so far. So, here we go. Press the button. It says, where am I? I must have fallen asleep. Um, okay, I'll need to fix that. But then I'll say, I'm um, sure there's a hall leading to the hall outside. 
Okay, also we've got slowness again to add to the effect. <coughs> Jump scare, and there's the what's happening, how long have I been out. You walk into here, um, and here. There's the key, my teacher's diary, maybe will give me a clue. I'll put the diary in there. I lost it. I've lost that diary a lot of times and I had to rewrite it a lot of times. Then you have to do the maze. I know the maze, it's very simple. You just need to come to this side, go through the middle hole, come around here. There's no jump scares in the maze. So, yeah, just a heads up there. There may be the pressure plate in the way. Um, uh, where I just got lost. Whew. Okay, the pressure plate's normally there. Okay, so you open here. There's going to be a book in here. This place is getting creepier and creepier, doesn't it? You'll walk here. Go around. Where am I? Am I dreaming? Is this real? So this is the library. When you're dreaming, you walk through. You can see... Um. Yeah, this is what it looked like before. Walk through here. He says, did I pass out? How did I get back here? And this is fenced off now. I just broke that because I'm in creative. So now that that's fenced off, it's also set my score of hall 2 to 1. It's going to be a fence here. And when you walk close to this area, it's going to bring up a fence. And then you can walk around the corner. And we will start off with the next area.